Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. In today's presentation, we will discuss graphing rational functions. Before we continue, please visit my channel for more math lessons and tutorials. Thank you! We have four easy steps in graphing rational functions. Step number one, find the vertical asymptotes or holes. Remember, there can be more than one vertical asymptote. Step number two, find the horizontal asymptote. Step number three, find the x-intercepts and y-intercept. Step number four, assign test values close to vertical asymptote. This will help us get ordered pairs which we can plot close to vertical asymptotes. Okay, let's try an example. Let's graph the following rational function. In step number one, we are going to find the vertical asymptote or hole for this function. In the given rational function, our denominator is x minus 3. This will tell us that x is not equal to positive 3. If we will use this value of x, we will have 6 over 0. This means we have a vertical asymptote and not a hole. Because remember, if you have any constant over 0, you have a vertical asymptote. But if you have 0 over 0, you will have a hole. We can now draw our vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Okay, for step number 2, we need to find the horizontal asymptote for this rational function. To do that, we need to check the degree of the numerator and the denominator. And as you can see, the degree of the numerator and the denominator for this rational function is the same. When that happens, our horizontal asymptote will be y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients for the numerator and the denominator. So now, our horizontal asymptote is y equals positive 2. Okay, so for step number 3, we need to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercept. And to solve for the x-intercept, we need to substitute 0 for the value of y and then solve for x. This will give us x equals 0. This means our x-intercept is 0. Now, to solve for the y-intercept, we need to substitute 0 for the value of x in the function. This will give us y equals 0. This means our y-intercept is equal to 0. Since our x-intercept and y-intercept are both zeros, we will have a point at the origin, 0, 0. Okay, for our step number 4, we need to assign test values close to our vertical asymptote. This will help us determine the points close to our vertical asymptotes. So from the left side of our vertical asymptote, x equals 3, we have x equals 2.9. Solving for y, we get negative 58. And from the right side of our vertical asymptote, we have x equals 3.1. Solving for y, we get y equals 62. And plotting these two ordered pairs, it will show us that the graph of the rational function grows downward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the left and it goes upwards as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the right. Now we are ready to graph our rational function. Okay, let's have another example. We have here f of x is equal to 3x over the quantity x plus 2. And looking at the denominator of our rational function, we have x plus 2. This means our value of x cannot be equal to negative 2. And if we substitute negative 2 to our rational function, we will get negative 6 over 0. And remember, if you have any constant over 0, you have a vertical asymptote at that value of x. But if you have a 0 over 0, what you have is a hole on that value of x. So clearly, what we have is a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. Okay, for step number 2, we need to find the horizontal asymptote for our rational function. 
to do this, we need to check the degree of our numerator and the degree of our denominator. And since the degree of the numerator and denominator for this given rational function is the same, our horizontal asymptote is y equals to the ratio of our leading coefficients for the numerator and the denominator. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals to positive 3. We are now ready to graph our horizontal asymptote. Okay, for step number 3, we need to find the x and y intercept. Here, we will substitute a value of y equals to 0 to get the x intercept. This will give us x equals 0. To solve for the y intercept, we need to substitute x equals 0 to our function. This will give us y equals 0. And since our x-intercept is 0 and y-intercept is 0, we have a point at the origin, 0, 0. Okay, step number 4, we need to assign test values close to our vertical asymptote. This will help us find points that will determine the direction of the graph of our rational function. As it approaches... The vertical asymptote. Let's start with x equals negative 1.9. This will give us a y value which is negative 57. So our first point is negative 1.9, negative 57. Our next test value is negative 2.1 which will give us a y value of 63. Our second point is negative 2.1, 63. Now that we have these points, we now know that the graph of the rational function tends to go downward as it approach the vertical asymptote from the right. And the graph tends to go upward as it approach the vertical asymptote from the left. We are now ready to graph our rational function. Okay, let's have another example. We are asked, to graph this rational function given. Before we proceed, we can rewrite the denominator of this rational function into factored form. This will show us two values of x that we cannot have in this rational function. Since x cannot be equal to negative 3, if we substitute this in the rational function, we will get negative 6 over 0. This tells us that what we have at x equals negative 3 is a vertical asymptote. And since x cannot be equal to 3, if we try to substitute 3 in our rational function, we will get 0 over 0. This means we have a hole in the graph of the rational function at x equals to 3. Okay, for step number 2, we need to find the horizontal asymptote. To do this, we need to check the degree of the numerator and the denominator. Looking at our rational function, we can see that the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. This means our horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. Okay, step number 3 we need to find the x and y intercept. Before we continue, let's simplify our rational function. This means we can cancel the quantity x minus 3 in the numerator and the quantity x minus 3 in the denominator. This will give us 1 over the quantity x plus 3. And then, solving for the x and y intercept, we know that from step number 2, we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. That means the graph of the rational function will not cross the x-axis because the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. And if we will solve for the y-intercept, we have to put x equals to 0 for our rational function. This will give us y equals 1 over 3. This means the graph of the rational function crosses the y-axis at y equals 1 over 3. Okay, for step number 4, we need to assign test values close to our vertical asymptote. Okay, 
from the right side of our vertical asymptote, x equals to negative 3, we have x equals negative 2.9. This will give us a value of y which is equal to 10. We can now plot the point negative 2.9 and 10. Our next test value from the left side of x equals to negative 3, we have negative 3.1. This will give us a value of y, which is negative 10. We can now plot our second point, negative 3.1, negative 10. Now that we have these points, we know that the graph of the rational function goes upward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the right. And the graph of the rational function goes downward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the left. We are now ready to graph our rational function. Okay, for our last example, we have here another rational function. Step number one, we find the vertical asymptotes or holes. Again, we have two values of x that we cannot have for this rational function. If we try the first value, x cannot be equal to negative 5 in our rational function, we will have 21 over 0. This will tell us that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 5. And since x cannot be equal to 1, if we substitute this value to our rational function, we will get negative 15 over 0. This means we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. Okay, step number two, we need to find the horizontal asymptote for this rational function. To do this, we need to check the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. From the given rational function, we now know that the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. This means our horizontal asymptote will be y equals to the ratio of their leading coefficients. So y is equal to 3 is our horizontal asymptote. Okay, for step number 3, we need to find the x and y intercepts. To solve for the x intercepts, we need to equate the numerator to 0. This will give us x equals 2 and x equals to negative 4. This means the graph of the rational function will cross the x axis at x equals 2 and x equals to negative 4. And then, solving for the y intercept, we will get 4.8. This means the graph crosses the y-axis at 4.8. For step number 4, we will assign test values close to our vertical asymptotes. Since we have two vertical asymptotes, we will have four test values. Let's start with the vertical asymptote on the left. x equals to negative 5. If x is equal to negative 5.1, the value of y will be 38.4. This point tells us that the graph of the rational function goes upward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the left. And then, if x is equal to negative 4.9, we have a y value which is negative 31.6. This point tells us that the graph of the rational function goes downward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the right. For the other vertical asymptote, x equals 1, we have x equals 0 0.9. This will give us a y value which is 27.4. This point tells us that the graph of the rational function goes upward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the left. And if x is equal to 1.1, we get a y value, which is negative 22.6. This point tells us that the graph of the rational function goes downward as it approaches the vertical asymptote from the right. We are now ready to graph our rational function. I hope I was able to help you in graphing rational functions. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. 
please share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.